Me and Diana pouring down rain at <laughs> Fall for Greenville. So at least it's going to start nice. Right. It's, so it's going to start gonna, nice. Start. Sunday looks okay. It doesn't look bad, but might have a stray shower or two. Mm -hmm. But hey, Friday night, perfect. Right. perfect. Awesome. Perfect. They get a few good days in. It's uh, to get the crowds out and exactly. introduce people to the food. Yeah, and, and we're not scene. we're not talking about any washouts here or anything Ooh. like that. Let's take a look at what we're expecting as we go into this evening. Cody will be down there live for us at four and five tomorrow, as well as our late shows. So be sure to check that out. Temperatures will be cooling into the 60s. Cody would call that refreshing, I think. But I don't know. It starts to get kind of cool to me at that point. Piedmont Interstate Fair near 80 degrees. If that's your destination tomorrow, go get some great food, play some games games. So much cool stuff going on across our area. It's hard to keep up and the weather is going to cooperate for pretty much all of it. It's just Sunday. We may end up with a few showers, especially in upstate spots. Now Fox Radar 3D is clear right now and Futurecast keeps us clear into tomorrow morning afternoon looking great. In fact, I don't think we'll have hardly a cloud in the sky across the upstate the second half of Friday. So great weather for high school football as well. So many things you could potentially be doing on Friday evening and then going into Saturday. Saturday. Here come the clouds. Of course, we've got some football games going on noon. They'll be playing in Athens, South Carolina and Georgia. Don't expect much rain for that, but the clouds will start to move in. And then around 3.30, you've got Clemson taking on Florida State. And that's right around when the clouds will begin to take over. But most of the shower activity up in the mountains at that point. But notice what happens as we go into Saturday night. We stay with some cloud cover and then a front kind of stalls out over our area, draws in some moisture. So 6 a.m., a few showers and the showers linger for a bit. So by 2 p.m., maybe your destination is downtown Greenville for Sunday, or maybe you're going to be going to pick out your pumpkin. You may have to dodge a few light showers going into the 2 p.m. time frame. Looks like by Sunday evening, things would clear up a bit. So going into tomorrow, upper 50s to start the day in the upstate, making it to 79 by late day in the mountains, low 70s by the end of your Friday. On the Carolina Sky Meter, it gets a 9. Not a bad way to end the work week. And if you're thinking about doing some fall foliage looking, going to do some leaf peeping, we'll be seeing all of those leaves really peak in color toward the high mountain locations as we get into the next couple of weeks. And it's going to be more toward late October for spots like Asheville, Hendersonville, and even probably November, even toward mid-November for parts of the upstate. So we'll look at your weekend forecast. If you're going to be going up to the mountains to see that color or staying up to, uh, in the upstate and maybe hitting fall for Greenville, weather should be just fine but we will have a few showers to watch out for as we go into Sunday. Now let's check out your riding forecast. It is sponsored by Harley Davidson of Greenville. And I tell you what, we're looking at great weather, especially on Saturday. Clouds will be increasing, fairly small rain chance, a little better chance that you're going to end up with some rain going into Sunday with temperatures in the 70s. So it will be a bit cooler uh, the second half of the weekend than the first half. In the mountains, mid 70s to low 70s. Doesn't that look nice after the 90s we had to deal with a little over a week ago?